I know the man so good. He's my friend. He come like my son. He have a problem, a problem, a real problem. Both of them have a real problem. If I man know him about two years, then he have that problem. And then can make up with every left. Last night, literally, everything said, nigga, man, this man make him look for a house for rent. And he say, I'm going to work and come back. But basically, he never reach work. No, I mean, I think I'm about no man or no woman problem, but anytime he get a problem, he drink. And he love to talk about it, he do hide it, he talk a lot. And basically, everybody know about the same problem, he talk all the way. People, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, we know that the hottest topic out there is a little incident that occurred in Portmore, where I'm speaking about in St. Catherine, in which the JDF man, his name is Dorian McKenzie, basically slapped away his common law wife, and her name is Susan Easy. Now, people, there has been a lot of voice notes that are circulating on social media and I am sure that most of you have listened to them and if you have not listened to them, they are on the video that I did before this one. And basically this lady and this man was in a conversation. He was kind of losing his mind and she was very calm and collective. She thought that she could tame him. She thought that they could have a conversation like they've had before and everything is going to go back to normal. He is going to calm down for a day or two. However, we see that she learned the hardware. It basically went to the worst case scenario and she basically lost her life. Now, people like me say, sometimes when you see the signs, you have to take heed. You have to make sure that you get yourself out of the situation because more than likely the possibility or the probabilities are that it is going to get worse, point blank and period. Now I know that there's a lot of women in Jamaica in this situation because of financial, because of economic struggle. And people, it only proves once again the importance of education. It proves that if you have your own job, if you have your own place, then more than likely you are least likely to be subjected to A, B, U, S, E because you are independent, because you have your job skill. That means that you won't take any talk from anybody. So people, the moral of the story is this. Get your education, get your own place, get your own car key. Don't depend on any man. Vice versa, man, not depend upon a woman because as soon as persons feel like they have this advantage over you, they feel like they can talk to you any and any hour. So the point that I am trying to make is that if you put yourself in a situation where you have your own things and we are talking about your own care, your own house, your own skills, that means that you can depend upon yourself. That means that you are not living on anybody's shadow. You are not living on anybody's eyebrow. That means that if them bat them eye, you fall off. No, people, you have to make sure so you secure your own things, point blank and period. Now, based on this incident as it pertains to this JDF man and also the nurse, based on what a witness was saying, based on a confidant that this man always talked to, she said that she told him that they need to go and look at place the day before this happened and people, the man did not want to leave, he did not want to move out because he did not want to face the shame. He never want people to say the woman kick him out. He never want to say the relationship feel rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. So people, we see that this decision making process came back to haunt him point blank and period. Now our next thing when it comes to relationship people, you can't watch pretty face, you can't watch sexiness, you have to watch personality, you have to watch character, you have to watch what is in that person's heart. You have to see that this person is a good person. We are speaking about he have the proper characteristics. He has everything to make him compatible with you because the truth and the fact is that 
If you are not compatible with your partner, it is not going to work. If you are on one type of status, it is not going to work. And people, I am not saying that there are not isolated incidents where you can pick up somebody that is lesser than you and you basically grow with that person and that person kind of elevate. May I talk about man, may I talk about woman, vice versa, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. However, in most cases, scenario, you have to be compatible with that person. You have to basically depend on the same status. So the point that I am trying to make is that when you pick up somebody that is way, way below you, they are always going to come back to haunt you because most of the time they are suffering from an inferiority complex. People, codename, they are insecure. People, codename, them get jealous most of the times. Now the next point that I am going to make is that you can't make your pums or you can't make your little boy roll you. So the point that I am trying to make is that don't get whip up, don't get hooked on anybody because of the bedroom game. Because the truth and the fact is that if the bedroom game is up there and that person does not have that characteristics that fits yours, that is compatible with yours, don't get hooked, don't get fooled and tabo because him put it down like this or she put it down like this and the pums fat rate lele blue blah bling that means that you are going to put up with all sorts of bs so people the moral of the story is this you have to think with your crown you have to think with your top head you can't think about the heads instead of using your own head point blank and period now the next point that I want to make, you have to watch out for these scammers, these liars, these connivers, these thief in a real life. We are speaking about persons that you meet on the job, persons that you meet on the street and even worse people where you meet on internet, on social media. Because everybody on social media is catfishing. That simply means that they are not what they seem to be. They are posers. They are somebody that is looking to take advantage of somebody. They are looking for an opportunity because most of the time the people that you meet on social media, them don't have no job, them don't have no skills. They are looking for somebody to use. They are looking for somebody to prey upon. So people like them say, if you are caught slipping, they are going to take advantage of you, point blank and period. And I know that in a lot of situations, especially as it pertains to women, they are emotional creatures. So therefore, they are always looking for love. They are always looking for comfort and people. Just like they are looking, we are speaking about the law of supply and demand. There are also people out there that are aware that a lot of these women are desperate. They need somebody. So therefore, them kind of S-H-O-O-T some game on them and treat them rate lele and the next thing that you know especially these women overseas when you meet these men you are sending money to them on a daily basis every minute they are western union every minute they are monogram every minute they somewhere are send some sort of money whether through the bank rate lele blue blah bling people women be very careful of these men in jamaica most of them are some set of scammers if you can't find out which part them work if you don't know nothing about them leave them alone point blank and period and last but not least watch out for the men and women with that mood swing I am speaking about the men and the women with that split personality because more than likely once the behavior starts to get aggressive more than likely it is going to get worse instead of better point blank and period so people the moral of the story is that if you pick up ish you are going to end up with ish and when you end up with ish you are going to end up with crosses so people, the reason for doing this video is to let you know that there is 99% bad out there and 1% good. That means that for the good people, the odds are stacked up against us. And I am letting you know that it is a jungle out there. There are prey and there are predators. So people, don't let yourself become a victim of these predators. You have to also watch out for all those signs. You have to see the red flags. You have to read between the lines and read all the fine prints. Our people, you will be deceived. So basically, you have to put yourself in a position that you won't be subjected to all the BS in life. So therefore, you have to educate yourself. You have to be mentally ready and you have to also be physically ready. Because people, like I said, it is a jungle out there and you can't be caught slipping. Because if them catch you slipping, you will be taken advantage of. So the moral of the story is this and the fundamental point that I am trying to make is that 
he who fails to prepare prepares to fail so people you have to be ready in a life you have to be ready in everything that you do our people are going to step on you so this latest incident that took place in Portmore as it pertains to this JDF soldier and also this nurse, it is a warning, it is a message that is going out there to all of you people that are vulnerable. Now people, it happened again, it happened one more again. Before I could have finished recording the story about the JDF man and his wife who happened to be a nurse, I am speaking about the person that was slapped away in Portmore. People, this incident is said to be happening in St. Elizabeth. And it is said that the Pope have taken into custody the boyfriend of a 27-year-old lady in a little farming community we are speaking about in St. Elizabeth called Brinkley. Now it is said that this lady was going through the same problems like many other women in Jamaica. They were being abused. However, they saw the sign and they still remain in the same situation. Now people, the information is kind of sketchy, but based on report, based on the Popo report, it is said that this man went to the family house of the 27-year-old lady and her name is Nevia Sinclair and him basically juk juk her up and basically she was P-R-O-N-O-U-N-C-E-D, the bad way. So people, we see it happening over and over again and we have to wonder, we have to ponder if there is something in the water, if there is something in the air or it seems like these men in Jamaica, it seems like a lot of people in Jamaica have some mental problem. People, let me know your thinking in the comment section. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.